I would say that life has a meaning for anyone who knows how to give it a meaning. Searching for the meaning of life is not reserved for wealthy. I would say that life has a meaning for anyone who knows how to give it a meaning. Therefore, being meaningful in life has nothing to do with power or wealth. I think the underlying assumption in that thesis is the idea that because one is wealthy, one has the time and luxury to begin to contemplate about the meaning of his or her life. But that is certainly not true. The question of life's meaning is something that comes to um, every individual, um, whether rich or poor. Most wealthy people are white pages of history, as we have seen it in history. But history remembers those who know how to discover, how to create, and how to think. And these are scientists, these are artists, these are philosophers. So say for instance you are, uh, you are a waiter um, uh, collecting minimum wage and you're working for um, seven days a week. It can make you begin to question your purpose in life. So I do not think working seven, seven days a week uh, affects uh, the extent to what, which one thinks about the meaning of his or her life. In fact, it's something that drives one to think about the meaning of his or her life. Artists, scientists, philosophers, they became what they are because they did not consider life as a given, but they considered life as a task. And life as a task is not necessarily life as happiness, but is life as struggle. Uh, happiness is what we struggle for. My country, Venezuela, is facing now uh, first, an authoritarian regime, and second, a very important humanitarian situation. In those conditions, it's very difficult for people to think about searching the meaning of life. It is very important to think about the meaning of life because it allows you to check inside yourself, to make a diagnosis about what's good or what's not going uh, well in your life. Knowing whether one's life or deciding for oneself if one's life is meaningful or not goes a long way in determining how that individual approaches life. So if you think life is meaningless, for instance, um, um, it is possible that you would approach life with a bit of um, pessimism. But if you think your life is meaningful, it is obvious that such an individual would want to strive for that meaning and would want to accomplish that meaningfulness before he or she passes away. And that affects, also affects how the individual um, relates to um, other people in, in the society. And it is for this reason, I think that it is also right uh, to think about the meaning of life.